that are heroes. And you have a beautiful crowd for coming out and supporting them. So they are the stars of this show, and I just want to say a few personal words about why our military history and our wounded heroes are so special to me. Without the resilience of one in my family, I literally wouldn't be here tonight. Those little boys were especially touching to me because I am the very proud great, great granddaughter of not one, but two Civil War heroes. Elijah Judd, 39th Infantry, Company D, and Elijah Hensley, 39th Infantry, out of Eastern Kentucky also, fought for the Union cause in Company I. Now, Elijah Judd was a great legend, and my family growing up, he went on to be an adjudicator, excuse me, an adjudicator, which in Eastern Kentucky talk means he said, well, fuse. But it's my chance to say about whom I want to tell you briefly before you meet these astonishing men. Elijah was a prisoner of war not once, but twice. And before his second internment, he endured a battlefield amputation of the Battle of Salto, one where not only his side lost, but he lost a leg. Circular saw method. Oh. Not great. The road that he traveled today is five hours in a car. So you can imagine with his stump, knowing he was being turned over to the enemy, loaded on the back of a horse-drawn cart, how agonizing that experience was for him. But not only did he survive, which is a fairly unlikely outcome, he thrived. He returned home to eastern Kentucky and became a successful one-legged farmer. <laughs> but life wasn't easy. His first wife died, his second wife died in childbirth, so he married him the third double quick. And the reason he was able to do that is his government recognized that he was a hero and they treated him fairly and properly. He had his pension, he had support, he had his family, and perhaps most importantly, he had the God of his understanding. Because of all the things that Elijah did that ultimately mattered most to him because he became a lay preacher in the Methodist Church. And then he went on to have a three times great granddaughter who is mighty proud of him. And so I'd like to think because, as I said, without Elijah's fight and his resilience, I literally wouldn't be here, that my special love for my family translates into a special love and empathy and appreciation for these wounded warriors tonight. I thank you, I celebrate you, and I also acknowledge that in addition to the wounds we can see, there are the emotional and the psychic wounds we can't. And PTSD and mental health should absolutely be an integrated, unquestioned part of all our veterans.
Next on the ring is Chief Dave Moore, his work with the National Institute of Standards and Technology Studies and the Muscular Dystrophy Association has helped protect other firefighters and paramedics on the street. In support of his work for firefighter safety initiatives throughout his 35-year career, Chief Moore has placed a great deal of importance on community involvement and helping others in the community where he works. As is evident, for instance, through his work with the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Let's give a big party congratulations to Chief Moore. Thank you. 